Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. As you know, my channel is for physics of high school level. And in my videos, I am coming near you with a new topic. In this video, I kept a topic from simple machine, which is lever. So, let us start today's topic of discussion, lever. But in this video, we will learn what is lever, type of lever, and the use of lever, and where in our human body we will get the arrangement of this lever. Before going to the lever, you must have to watch my first video of Simple Machine. We will get the idea about the terms used in a simple machine like load, F, fulcrum, uh, efficiency, and also you will know about the principle an ideal machine and a practical machine so let us start with this topic lever lever what you can say the lever first thing it will come to the term lever lever is a basic simple machine in this simple machine it consists of a lead rod pivoted at a fixed point or fulcrum means what you can say is the lever normal or nail cutter a stapler, a seizure, tongue, pliers, these all are in the category of lever. Means it is having a pivot point, it is having a fixed point, it is having a joint point. One side we are giving our effort, we are giving our force, and another side we are keeping the object on which the effort should be given, on which the force is given. So, when you come to the lever part, a lever is a rigid body. It is capable of rotating on a point on itself. That means, as it is having a fulcrum, as it is having a fixed point, so on that particular point from both sides, the body will be able to rotate or will get the moment of force. That's what you can say the lever. So, on this basis of effort, means the force given, load on which the force given, and the fulcrum or the joint, this lever is again divided into three categories. In this video, we will learn about the types of lever and the different examples of this lever so working principle of lever here if we look first one here is the fulcrum is the joint point one side in the a point we are giving our force this effort and the b point the load or on which force is given distance from fulcrum to load is known as load arm the distance from effort to fulcrum is known as the effort arm. Based on this, we will derive a relationship or we will derive a principle for this lever. So, this ideal lever, ideal lever, here the phase use ideal lever. Ideal lever means where there is no waste of energy. The total input work done is equal to the total output work done. So, it will come to the principle of ideal lever total clockwise movement of the load about the fulcrum about the fulcrum in the joint is always balanced always equal to the total anti clockwise movement of effort due to fulcrum means it will come to the moment of force moment of force is the product of force and perpendicular distance so here the force is effort and perpendicular distance from the joint point is the effort arm and other side it will go one side load into the perpendicular distance is load arm means in this principle is the load into load arm equal to effort into effort arm so here is the derivation of this principle first one if we look we know for the principle of moment clockwise moment is always equal to or in equilibrium when a body is in equilibrium total clockwise moment equal to total anti-clockwise moment so here for clockwise moment we will get load into load arm and one for anti-clockwise moment we will get effort into effort arm that means one side l a load into bf which is the load arm here in this particle look load arm is your b and f bf and e into af e where the effort and af is the effort arm so load into load arm equal to effort into effort arm or it will say load by effort or L by E 
is equal to a f by b f or which is effort arm by load arm so load into load arm equal to effort into effort arm or load by effort equal to effort arm by load arm and we know in the previous video in the first video of simple machine you will get load by effort is the mechanical advantage that means effort arm by load arm will get mechanical advantage so mechanical advantage having two formula load by effort and effort arm by load arm next we come to the types of lever when we come to the types of lever lever based on the position of this load effort and fulcrum given to three category one is known as type one lever or class one lever second is class two lever or type two lever and third is class three lever or type three lever so let us start with class one lever or type one lever so it will come to type one lever or class one lever in this you can see the arrangement that fulcrum is in between load and effort means middle position is of fulcrum one side effort and one side load so this arrangement is of first type lever or first class lever in this lever fulcrum always between effort and load that means sometimes the distance from fulcrum to effort is more sometimes the distance from load to fulcrum is more or both side equal so this uh, class of lever if we look effort time is longer sometimes effort is smaller sometimes effort is equal to the load arm that means sometimes ma is greater than one sometimes ma is less than one sometimes ma is equal to one same vr or velocity ratio sometimes equal to one greater than one or less than one that means this is used as a force multiplier where ma or vr ma and vr when it is more than one that is force multiplier but it's less than one it is speed multiplier and it is equal to one then it is used only to change the direction of force like in case of a seesaw when both side the distance is same when the weight is same both side they are in equilibrium here is some example of first class lever in first class lever you can see the fulcrum in between a load and effort means one side we are giving the force and one side the load here it will come to the seizure seizure case the distance from fulcrum to the effort part is less in compared to the distance from fulcrum to the load but when it come to pliers the distance from fulcrum to joint point to the effort part is longer in compared to the distance from the fulcrum to the load means one case the effort arm is bigger than the load arm one case the load arm is bigger than the effort arm and in case of seesaw both side equal means in case of first class lever this first class lever can be used for all purpose so it will summarize all this point of first class it will come near us as the first class lever the first thing will get ma can be equal to one ma greater than one or ma less than one which is mechanical advantage load by effort or effort arm by load arm vr equal to one vr less than one vr greater than one means velocity ratio velocity ratio means the displacement by effort to displacement by load and it is used as the speed multiplier as a force multiplier and also it is used to change the direction of force applied means all the purpose of machine can be satisfied by a class one lever so it will come to next one class two lever or type two lever or second class lever in second class lever load is kept in between effort and fulcrum means middle we are keeping our load and one side the joint and other side our effort simply the simple example for second class lever is a municipality trolley or wheelchair one side the wheel one side the handle where we are giving our effort and middle we are keeping the load or the weight so here in second class lever or second type lever the load is kept in between effort and fulcrum and because here if you look the distance from effort to fulcrum is more than the load to fulcrum so always in this class of lever effort time is always longer than its 
uh, LoRa means mechanical advantage and velocity ratio both are greater than one in case of a second type lever. So here the question may arise why the MA and BR is always greater than one in case of the second class lever because the region be, uh, behind this is the load between effort and fulcrum. That means effort to fulcrum distance is much more in compared to or more in compared to load to fulcrum. That means effort arm is greater than load arm. So this type of lever is usually a force multiplier. How do you can say the force multiplier? Force multiplier means by the application of less force, it can do more work. That is force multiplier means machine fast purpose of machine which is which makes our work easier can be satisfied with the second type lever so it will come to example second type lever so you can see bottle opener here you will get a knot cutter municipality wheel uh, uh, that municipality workers they are taking the uh, wastage in this uh, trolley municipality trolley so in this type of lever load in between effort and fulcrum one side fulcrum and one side your effort here this is on the fulcrum one side effort here one side effort one side fulcrum middle we are keeping the load here also same so always in the second type lever a load is in between fulcrum and effort so it will come to its uses in case of second type lever or second class lever ma always better than one VR always get more than one and it is used a force multiplier is used to make our work easier by giving less force we can do more work next in the list of discussion is the type 3 lever or class 3 lever or third or lever of third or we can say a third class lever in this lever effort is in between load and fulcrum means distance from load to fulcrum is more in compared to effort to fulcrum means in this type of lever a load arm is greater than effort arm so first one first point we got the lever in which effort in between load and fulcrum that is third type lever third class lever or lever of third order and here uh, effort arm is always smaller than the load arm or load arm is always bigger than the effort arm so ma and VR is always less than one because the question is why MA and VR is always less than one in case of hard type lever because effort is in between load and fulcrum that means distance from effort to fulcrum is always less in compared to the distance from load to fulcrum or in simple term because effort arm is smaller than the load arm so this type of lever, this third class lever or third type lever or type 3 lever always uses a speed multiplier. Here the second purpose of the machine is satisfied. It means first one in second type lever we got, which makes our work easier and here which makes our work faster. Speed multiplier means in less time we can do more work. That is speed multiplier. So it will come the example. Here you can see some example of this third type lever. In the third type lever, we will get one case the uh, fulcrum, one side the load, and in the middle we are giving our effort. So, in this, if we look this stick with a broom here, one side effort, one side fulcrum, and one is the load. And if we we'll come to the sugar tongue, in that one case fulcrum, one we are giving our effort, one the load. Fishing rod, same, one side load. One side effort and last we are having the fulcrum the joint uh, tweezer in this also we are having one case fulcrum uh, here the effort this part and last we are keeping our load sugar tongue in this category uh, to take a small piece and most of the time in kitchen it is used uh, where it is the third type lever which is used to take the lid out or cover out from a container so third type lever is that in which effort is between uh, fulcrum and load so it will summarize all the point of the third type lever we'll get here that in third type lever ma always less than one vr always less than one it is used as a speed multiplier means three type of lever we got fast type but every was uh, every conditions are possible this can be used as a sport, uh, speed multiplier force multiplier used to change the direction of force 
in first type liver MA may be greater than one, less than one, or equal to one. But in case of second type, MA always greater than one. In case of third type, MA always less than one. And second type of liver, BR more than one. Third type of liver, BR less than one. Second type liver uses force multiplier. Third type liver uses speed multiplier. And some liver arrangement in our body. So here first one if we look, this one the first type liver arrangement where one case our effort, one side the fulcrum and of the load. But when we are giving our total weight of the body on the toes of our feet, that case here the toes are the fulcrum and middle the load and effort this uh, muscles. And when we we'll take any load on our palm like this, we will keep our palm that case or any weight on our palm that time uh, will get effort one end means in case of third type liver always effort is in between fulcrum and load so one case uh, the load and other case the fulcrum and middle our effort so this one the uh, liver used in our body part here, how to use this all load into load arm equal to effort into effort arm in case of a numerical problem. Let me take example of one numerical problem. In this numerical problem given to you, here you can see one diagram in which fulcrum here, in the middle load and one side effort. And in this question given to us, to which class of liver does this belongs? Because load is in between effort and fulcrum. So we can say this one the second class lever or type 2 lever. One more thing given to us FA 75 cm means fulcrum to load is 75 cm, which is our uh, load arm. And when we come to AD from load to effort is given to us 25 cm. So here we'll calculate now the mechanical advantage. So let's come to the solution part. In solution, first one, what I told that load is in between fulcrum and effort. So it is a second class lever. It uses a force multiplier. So less force is required to take a heavy load. Next, it will come to the solution part, FA load arm 75 cm. But effort arm will look, effort arm from fulcrum to effort means here you can see the F to A 75 cm, A to B 25 cm. So F to B, or effort arm is equal to 100 cm mechanical advantage effort arm by load arm which is 100 by 75 or 4 by 3 25 4 ja 25 3 ja but in our third part it is given to us calculate the value of effort if it overcome a load of 20 and 200 newton means load by effort is mechanical advantage the formula for mechanical advantage load by effort or effort arm by load arm so here 4 by 3 is equal to 4 by 3 MA load 200 given to us and effort we have to find out. So effort equal to 200 into 3 by 4 which is 150 Newton means by this process by using load into load arm equal to effort into effort arm we can solve the numerical problem based on lever. So to get more videos of this physics. Uh, you have to subscribe my channel and like my video if you feel it is helpful for you. Thank you. Thanks for watching my video.